I think there's a, a like a preconception of like what counseling is and therapy for kids. Like it's not a kid doesn't come in and sit in a chair like this and just talk about their experience. Um, you know, children's language is play. And um, I really believe in that. And I, I, um, I put I use that in a lot of my work. So play based therapy and um, really use allowing children um, use toys and um, figures to explore what they're thinking and what they're feeling because they don't necessarily have the words to express what's going on inside them. And so that's um, the big part of the, the therapist's work is to um, see what's going on with the child and putting it into words um, so that they can say, oh, hey, yeah, that is what I'm feeling or that is what I'm thinking. Um, or they could say, no, that you're totally off. That isn't what's going on in this story. Um, and what's really cool is about play therapy is that kids can act out themes or scenes um, that aren't necessarily specifically happening to them. Um, it could be kind of a metaphor. And so there is that kind of safety net um, where they can protect themselves. And so um, doing that with somebody who has training um, and being able to kind of verbalize what's going on, the kids can work think, work through um, some things that they're experiencing um, in a very safe way. Playing in a room with a play therapist or a counselor who has, you know, training experience compared to playing with toys at home with a parent, the difference is that a counselor or a therapist um, is able to really observe and to really pay attention to, you know, even the small details of just the gestures, the facial expressions, um, and kind of reflect back what they're seeing. And I think that as much as parents, you know, we hope we know what our kids are going through, um, having that kind of neutral outsider be able to come and see and really um, pay attention to those really minute details um, I think it, it really helps the child unfold and kind of uncover what's going on in a very neutral way um, without putting our own ideas. You know, we have we have the training to be able to kind of step back and not be part of that world um, and just to be that observer. And I think, um, you know, my, my past experience is, um, has been in, as a Montessori teacher and that's been so big in my work of really observing the child. Um, and really respecting their own personal growth. And so I bring that to my work as a counselor um, and just really, yeah, respecting what each child is, is going through um, and um, really being there as a guide. I really, especially at the beginning of working with a child, I really like taking on more of a non-directive approach um, and really allowing the, ch the child to kind of lead me through what's going on in their world um, through their play. And um, there may be moments where I think, okay, I think this child may be ready for some more directive. Um, one example might be they might um, be working with some anger issues and just being able to um, regulate their emotions. There may be some specific exercises or just kind of role plays that I might suggest. Um, but I don't do that until I feel like the child is ready for that. Like, especially initially, if the child is used to kind of coming in and having just this, you know, free time and being able to lead the way, um, I would definitely at the beginning just kind of give them a heads up. It's like, hey, um, I have an idea of like what we could do today. You know, the last few sessions, you've been able to kind of guide both of us in your play but I have an exercise that maybe you and I can do together and so I really put you know the consent process is still really important for a child and so just giving them that opportunity to say hey you know today I would still really like to play and I would respect that um, but I would kind of offer it would be kind of an offering like hey this is something maybe you and I could do together um, yeah so giving them the opportunity to say yes I'm ready for that or no